Hello, viewers. Welcome to Supergrants. Um, and I welcome you all to the session, Basics of IPM. I'm your mentor and guide, Brenda. Well, today in the session, we will continue something that we started in the past weeks, and we will talk about one word substitution today. Now, before I take you further and I discuss certain uh, words, I mean, sub certain words that can be substituted for longer sentences or longer phrases, let's understand the relevance of the topic. So, this topic is important. Is it directly IP mat in the order? Or is it a entrance test in which this topic is questions expected? Hai? Well, to be very honest, IP mat in the order comes to ask around direct questions. Nahi puchta. Aaj tak nahi puche, pishle saal ke paper patterns ke pattern ke hisab se. Magar, kya ye topic important nahi hai? Kyunki IP mat in the order nahi puchta. Well, this topic is very important because IP mat in the door, if you want to excel, ace, clear, then the amount of your foundation is strong, the amount of your vocabulary is good, the amount of success chances will increase. Now, how will this topic help you? Well, I'll tell you how this topic will help you. See, wo directly bhali ye topic na puche, lekin paraphrase to karenge. Not just IP mat in door, talk about Rotak or chip mat or NPAT or CUET, SET, talk about any good entrance test. Agar hum kisi word ko paraphrase kar sakte hain, to hamari vocabulary strong hai. And that is what this topic does. And I'm sure you already have a familiarity with the topic, but let's just recall some words that we might have studied in our childhood. So let's just begin. So the question would uh, the question obviously says that there are uh, four alternatives to choose from and that can replace the group of words. A single word can replace a group of words or a phrase that's given here. So we just need to understand which uh, word can replace the given set of words. So the first one is one who feels at home in every country. So who is one who feels at home in every country? He feels at home in every country. He feels at home in every country. He doesn't think that I'm a US citizen or I'm an Indian or I'm a Japanese. He feels that everything is mine and I'm everything. So that is what they demand here. Now let's take a look at the options. So this one says metropolitan. Now what is metropolitan? Metropolitan ka literal meaning hota hai something that is typical of a big city or a busy city. So, ya to wo belong kare ya us se related agar hai. So, wo metropolitan hai. Cosmopolitan. Now, cosmopolitan ka matlab sabajne se pehle cosmos ka matlab kyo na samjhe hum. Cosmos hota hai brahmand. Ab agar cosmos brahmand hai, to cosmopolitan ka kya matlab ho sakta hai. Cosmopolitan ka matlab hota hai koi... Um, something that um, something that includes the people from all over the world. Now think of the big places such as um, New York or Los Angeles or Mumbai for that matter. So ye aisi jagah hai jahan par aapko har dharam ka, har jagah ka insaan mil jayega. So these are cosmopolitan in their approach. Now it's not just the city that can be cosmopolitan. Your thoughts can be cosmopolitan. So Cosmopolitan, something that doesn't really consider the boundaries, something that feels at home in every place one is. Then there is the word citizen. Well, citizen hota hai jo legally kisi jaga par rehta hai, officially kisi jaga par rehta hai, wo us jaga ka citizen hota hai. Now let's take a look at the last word which is denizen. Ab ye denizen kya cheez hai? Citizen toh hume pata tha. Denizen hota hai jo jaha par paaya jata hai, jo jaha ka hai, wo vaha ka native hai, wo vaha ka Denizen hai. Well, ye to tha charo words ka matlab. Ab answer kya hai humare sawal ka? One who feels at home in every country. Now, out of four options that are there, which one best replaces, can best replace the given set of words? Well, your answer is right. It would be cosmopolitan. The next one, handwriting that cannot be read. Bhai, aisi handwriting jise padh nahi sakte. Hoti to zahadat hai. Doctors ki hai. Lekin, yaha par us particularly us handwriting ko boolte kya hai? Illegible, legible, dim or dull. Well, I hope you understand dim or dull to ye answer nahi honge. Legible hota hai jise pard sakte hai aur illegible uska ulta jise nahi pard sakte. So, a handwriting that cannot be read is definitely illegible handwriting. The next one. A hater of learning and knowledge. Ham ne baat kari wo jise knowledge ya learning se nafret hai. Ab iska answer student nahi hoga. Trust me, nahi hoga. Now let's see. 
इलिटरेट अभी इलिटरेट वो होता है जिसको समबडी हु डजेंट अंडरस्टैंड द अल्फाबेट समबडी हु कैन नॉट रीड और राइट इज एन इलिटरेट पर्सन नाउ बिब्लोफाइल बिब्लोफाइल अपने आप में एक बहुत ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड है इसमें बहुत कुछ सीखने के लिए हमें मिलेगा नाउ फिल एक रूट वर्ड होता है जिसका मतलब होता है लव और फाइल एक रूट वर्ड है पी एच आई एल ई जिसका मतलब होता है लवर और एंथुजियास्ट ऑफ नाउ बिब्लियो बुक्स नाउ पुट देम टुगेदर बिब्लियो बुक्स फाइल लवर और एंथुजियास्ट ऑफ दोनों को साथ में रखेंगे तो क्या मतलब निकल कर आएगा समबडी हु लव बुक्स ओके और इज फॉन्ड ऑफ बुक्स सो ये तो क्लियरली आंसर नहीं होगा वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ हेटर एंड हियर वी हैव अ बिब्लियो फाइल समबडी हु लव बुक्स मिजोलॉजिस्ट नाउ मीजो एक अपने आप में एक रूट वर्ड है जिसका मतलब होता है हेट्रेड लॉजी एक अपने आप में एक रूट वर्ड है जिसका मतलब होता है स्टडी सो मिजोलॉजिस्ट पुट टूगेदर समबडी हु हेट्स लर्निंग समबडी हु हेट्स रीजनिंग आर्ग्यूमेंट नाउ देर इज दर वर्ड इज मिसोजनिस्ट नाउ मिसोजनिस्ट अगेन मीजो हेट्रेड जिनिस्ट वेमेन जिन वेमेन so misogynist put together somebody who hates women kind now we know the meaning of all the four words now so the answer to this question should be hater of learning and knowledge yes that's option c misogynist a person who looks at the dark side of everything abhi dark side pe agar koi dekh raha hai to ye person hopeless hai ise hope nahi dikhai deti wo insaan jo hopeful nahi hota wahi to dark side dekhega jo bright side dekhega wo hopeful hai और जो डार्क साइड देखेगा वो होपलेस है सो लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट दी ऑप्शंस। सेरिस्ट ब्लाइंड पेसिमिस्ट ऑप्टिमिस्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद ऑप्शन डी ऑप्टिमिस्ट वो होता है जो होपफुल होता है जो सोचता है कि कल सब अच्छा होगा आज मैं पढ़ाई करूंगा आई पी मैट कहीं नहीं गया मैं तो निकाल लूंगा क्योंकि मैंने मेहनत करी है सो दिस पर्सन इज होपफुल यू कुड बी वन ऑफ दम पैसेमिस्ट वो लोग होते हैं who do not see uh, light at the end of the tunnel to so, jinko ummeed nahi hoti hua kuch nahi hai but they are not uh, optimistic about the possible outcome of the given situation jinhe dark side nazar aati hai sirf blind again simply literally jise dikhai hi nahi deta so this should be ruled out sadist wo log hote hain it's an uh, i mean wo log jo dusre ko takleef mein dekh kar jinhe maza aata hai so The, those people are called sadist now the answer to this question should be option c um well you and i both know that that is not enough but we are trying our level best um incapable of being explained ab iska matlab kya hua wo cheez jo hum samjha nahi sakte wo hai uh जो चीज समझाई नहीं जा सकती नाउ देर आर सो मेनी कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस वर्ल्ड दैट कैन नॉट बी एक्सप्लेन दैट इज वॉट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट दिन सो द फर्स्ट वन इज नॉन डिस्क्रिप्ट नाउ नॉन डिस्क्रिप्ट इज एनी थिंग इट्स असेंशियली एन एडजेक्टिव नाउ इट इज समथिंग और एनी थिंग विच इज विच इज ऑर्डिनेरी सो समथिंग दैट कैन नॉट विच इज सो सिमिलर टू समथिंग एल्स नाउ अ वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल फॉर दिस वन शुड बी could be now think of those flats uh, all of them all of which look alike so you look at the first flat you look at the second flat uh, on the outside of course so they all look alike the neighboring building all look alike so non descript so there is no distinguishes distinguishing feature kuch alag nahi hai same hai unusual kuch bhi nahi hai bilkul similar hai so that's non descript untold is anything that is not disclosed or uh, not revealed that's untold unexplained something that has not been explained or been accounted for inexplicable wo jo abhi tak samjhaya nahi gaya hai ya samjhaya nahi ja sakta sometimes pain can be inexplicable sometimes love can be inexplicable so if you cannot explain it if you are if something is incapable of being explained it is um well broad solver this is this is um ip math specific not directly but it is trust me on this one well one who eats everything now um jo sab kuch kha sakta hai kya bolenge use jo sab kuch kha sakta hai carnivores 
कान कान एक रूट वर्ड है जिसका मतलब होता है फ्लैश एंड अगर आप बचपन के बेसिक्स याद करेंगे तो कार्निवोरस वो थे वो एनिमल्स थे जो फ्लैश खाते थे सो so, हमने यहाँ पर फ्लैश खाने वाले की बात नहीं करी हमने यहाँ पर बात करी उसकी जो सब कुछ खा सकता है ना कार्निवोरस इज वन साइड ऑफ द स्टोरी सम वन हु कैन ओनली ईट फ्लैश नाउ गौर में होता है somebody who enjoys good food. Now, does it relate to the given uh, set of words? Well, think about it. Omnivorous. Now, omni एक root word है जिसका मतलब होता है all. And um, so omnivorous, carnivorous की तरह वो लोग वो जानवर होते हैं जो सब मतलब plant और animal खा सकते हैं I mean flesh खा सकते हैं both plant and flesh. Now, if you think about it, खाने के लिए क्या क्या चीजें हैं सो ऑल दो ग्रेन एंड बिस्किट एंड एनी थिंग एंड एवरी थिंग दैट यू ईट ईदर कम्स फ्रॉम अ प्लांट इट कम्स ईदर फ्रॉम अ प्लांट और फ्रॉम एन एनिमल सो ओमनी वोरस जो सिर्फ प्लांट और एनिमल खाता है वो देखा जाए तो सब कुछ खाता है ओके एंड देन देर इज ओमनी पोर्टेंट ओमनी अगेन मीन्स ऑल पोर्टेंट मीन्स पावरफुल so omnipotent now think about it kon hai omnipotent is what think about it the first thing that comes to your mind probably god right god is omnipotent sab kuch unke hath mein hai now back to the question so one who eats everything is it carnivorous gourmet omnivorous or omnipotent but i guess it's a clear answer this one is omnivorous one who can eat both plants and animals but technically everything yeah that's true uh the next one speech made by someone for the first time now this one is very interesting we are talking about a speech that someone has made for the first time now look at the options oh let's go back so this is is it spontaneous is it extempore is it made in speech is it a sermon sermon hota hai ek speech jo kisi religious ya moral topic pe diya jata hai to sermon to nahi hoga Now this is made in speech. Let's understand the words first of all. Let's break the words into parts and let's understand them. Maiden होता है something. Maiden के वैसे दो मतलब होते हैं. Maiden एक young girl को भी बोलते हैं. And maiden होता है something that is done for the first time. Now I'll help you relate this. Titanic की story सबने सुनी है. जो Titanic जो वो ship जो डूब गई थी. Leonardo DiCaprio. So Uh, he acted in the movie. That's all I mean to say. So, वो अगर आपने टेक्स्ट जब पढ़ा होगा तो एक चीज जो काफी कॉमनली उस पूरी कहानी में सुनाई दिखाई गई थी या वर्ड यूज जो हुआ था वो टाइटैनिक की मेदिन वॉइज थी वो उसकी फर्स्ट वॉइज थी जिसमें वो सिंग कर गई थी ना मेड इन स्पीच क्या हुई उस हिसाब से अगर मेड इन था समथिंग दैट इज डन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम तो मेड इन स्पीच कौन सी हो गई a speech that somebody has made for the first time now let's see extempore kya hota hai extempore bhi ek speech hoti hai jo aap bina preparation ke dete ho let's say aapke teacher ne aapko bulaya bola chalo bhai is topic pe bol ke batao now maybe she gave you a minute or two to prepare but then she says okay go ahead speak so wo extempore hota hai jisme aapne pehle se prepare nahi kara and you have to speak now and then um that's really good to know स्पॉन्टेनियस uh, होता है कुछ भी जो आप अनप्लैंड स्पर ऑफ द मोमेंट पे कर लेते हो सो इफ यू डू समथिंग विच यू हैव इन थॉट ऑफ और प्लान बिफोर बट यू डू इट ऑन द स्पॉट दैट्स अ स्पॉन्टेनियस एक्शन मे बी समटाइम्स यू हैव स्पॉन्टेनियस थॉट्स ऑल्सो बट कमिंग टू द आंसर सो स्पीच मेड बाय सम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इज डेफिनेटली द मेड इन स्पीच दैट इज ऑप्शन सी a person who hates women i think we've already discussed hate hate was miso women was jin now let's see intolerant jo tolerate nahi kar pate misogynist miso hatred jin women i guess that's the answer but let's take a look at the other two options as well before we rule them out and trust me um wo sare bachche jo ye video dekh rahe hain ya jo ip mat ka paper likhna chahte hain आपको फर्स्ट ऑप्शन में भी अगर लगे कि यही सही आंसर है तभी भी बिना बाकी ऑप्शंस को इवेलुएट करे आंसर को टिक करने में दे विल ऑलवेज बी अ स्कोप कि आपने एक अच्छे ऑप्शन को एक बेटर ऑप्शन हो सकता था लेकिन आपने एक अच्छे ऑप्शन के लिए उससे अच्छे ऑप्शन को शायद मिस कर दिया सो बिफोर यू टिक द आंसर इट्स ऑलवेज एडवाइजेबल इवेलुएट ऑल द फोर ऑप्शन even if you're sure that the option that you're working on or which you think is right is actually right ek nazar dalne mein kuch nahi jata in fact aap safe side rehte ho so coming back to option c so this is biochemist now um 
यस दीज दैट इज ड्रॉ सॉल्व नाउ गेमी एक रूट वर्ड है जिसका मतलब होता है मैरिज ओके एंड बाय मीन्स टू नाउ पुट दीज टूगेदर so by gemi is um, entering a person entering the institute of marriage when he is already legally married to someone else so he is a by gemist um then there is gullible gullible hota hai wo log jo readily dusre pe believe kar pate hain kar lete hain so ingenuous hote hain ye log naive hote hain ye log ye logo pe vishwas jaldi kar lete hain and i would want you to think an answer kya ek achhi quality hai kya ye kharab quality hai what do you think gullible hona दूसरे पे विश्वास कर लेना आसानी से क्या एक अच्छी बात है या एक खराब बात है मिल दैट डेफिनेटली दैट इज नॉट अवर आंसर एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी मिसाज इन इज बट दैट इज समथिंग फॉर यू टू थिंक अबाउट एन आंसर इफ यू विश द नेक्स्ट वन डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अनबोर्न बेबी इन अ मदर्स वूम्ब तो एक अनबोर्न बेबी को को मिटा uh, देना इज वॉट द क्वेश्चन डिमांड्स नाउ लेट्स सी ओके फीटिसाइड फीटिस होता है द अनबोर्न बेबी एंड सी आई डी ई साइड एक रूट वर्ड है जिसका मतलब होता है किलिंग ना फीटिसाइड फीटिस था अनबोर्न बेबी साइड का मतलब था किलिंग तो क्या मतलब हुआ एक अनबोर्न बेबी को किल कर देना या मार देना हुआ फीटिसाइड बट लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट दी अदर ऑप्शन ऑल्सो इन्फेंटिसाइड ना इन्फेंट एक पैदा हुआ हुआ छोटा बच्चा होता है गोद का बच्चा इन्फेंट फीटस था जो भी पैदा नहीं हुआ था इन्फेंट वो है जो छोटा है गोद का है अभी पैदा हो चुका है देन देर इज ऑपरेशन आई गेस वी शुड रूल दिस आउट रीज साइड नाउ साइड मीन्स किलिंग रीज हियर स्टैंड फॉर किंग सो द एक्ट ऑफ किलिंग अ किंग इज कॉल्ड रीज साइड नाउ वट डू थिंग शुड बी द आंसर वी वी वेरी क्लियरली नो दैट ऑप्शन सी एंड डी शुड बी रूल्ड आउट इजिली विदाउट अ सेकेंड थॉट बचा फीटिसाइड एंड इन्फेंटिसाइड well the answer would be option a because we are talking about an unborn baby a fetus here so killing a fetus destroying a fetus is uh, the answer to the question sleeping room for many people now some of you will think that's the easy one and i believe yes it is it's an easy one but let's see what the answer is so boarding house and hostel both option a and b literally means a room uh, a place not a room but a place where you can stay for the night or maybe eat and drink for for some time as long as um, you need so that's boarding house and hostel now dormitory is a big room which generally has bunks and this is meant for sleeping so dormitory ek bada kamra jahan par bunks hote hain ek ke upar ek beds hote hain jahan par bacche so sakte hain especially colleges or hostels mein jo hote hain dwelling ka literally matlab hota hai rehna so the answer to this one should be easy it is dormitory one who murders one's own mother i wonder who does that well let's understand at least the meaning genocide now side charo option mein likha hai side ka matlab to killing hai geno ka matlab hota hai ek particular race ke ya ek particular community ke logon ko chun chun ke marna so if somebody is uh, i mean if if the members of a particular race or a community are killed that is what genocide is germicide now killing the germs and matricide is killing one's mother patricide killing one's father so i believe you all know what the answer is and i want to discuss it now elimination of a racial group by killing i think we know the answer is option c which is genocide but let's quickly take a look at the other options homicide hota hai killing a person murder karna kisi ka is homicide regicide as already discussed is killing Um, the act of killing a king genocide is the answer so eliminating the members of a particular race or a group and patricide as already discussed is killing one's own father i wonder who does that well the next one secession of arms before a formal treaty is signed during a war now secession hota hai kisi cheez ko rokna pause something is secession now humne kya roka arms yahan par hai weapons arms and ammunition weapons okay so cessation of arms yani ki um ek formal treaty sign hone se pehle agar humne arms ko roka hai so that means humne ladai ko roka hai right now let's see um <laughs> as long as i finish this uh, worksheet prot solver that, that's that's the duration of the session that's it now hostility hota hai being aggressive being uh, the, the feeling of animosity aggression towards someone 
सो दैट इज नॉट रियली रिलेटेड आमस्टर्स होता है एक एक ट्रूस एक अग्रीमेंट बिटवीन टू कंट्रीज हु आर एट वॉर टू स्टॉप द वॉर फॉर द टाइम बींग सो दैट्स वॉट आमस्टर्स इज अकॉर्ड होता है सिंपली अग्रीमेंट बिटवीन टू कंट्रीज इट कैन बी ऑन ऑन एनी लाइन्स एंड देन रिट्रीट होता है सिर्फ पीछे हटना सो लेट्स ए टू आर्मीज आर फाइटिंग वन इज एडवांसिंग एक आर्मी आगे बढ़ रही है और एक पीछे हो रही है सो द वन दैट इज मूविंग बैकवर्ड्स इज एक्चुअली रिट्रीटिंग सो आई गेट्स वी नो दी आंसर योर इट शुड बी ऑप्शन बी a disease that spreads by means of germs carried in atmosphere okay let's see endemic non communicable epidemic and infectious endemic ek bahut um, naya word ho sakta hai aapke liye endemic ka matlab hota hai koi cheez jo kisi particular area mein hi hoti hai jaise let's say kisi desh ke ek city mein garibi hai so garibi poverty is endemic to that area Maybe देश के किसी एक हिस्से में बहुत करप्शन है सो करप्शन इज एंडेमिक इन दैट सिटी और दैट प्लेस सो कोई चीज जो कहीं एक ही जगह पाई जाती है वो एंडेमिक होती है और उसी का ब्रॉडर वर्जन पेंडेमिक होता है जो कोविड के केस में हमने बहुत सुना था कोविड वॉज अ पेंडेमिक बिकॉज वो वर्ल्ड ओवर में हुआ था अगर एक ही जगह पर हुआ होता तो हम उसे बोलते एंडेमिक बट अगर वो वर्ल्ड ओवर हुआ था तो वो था पेंडेमिक नाउ Okay, I'll just use Hindi now, Taiba. Okay, now the next word, non-communicable. Well, non-communicable are generally diseases that are chronic in nature. So something such as diabetes or uh, cancer, um, I guess cardiovascular diseases. So all those are non-communicable. So these are basically chronic diseases. That's it. Epidemic is a disease um, that spreads and uh, in a particular place. So that's epidemic. infectious is something that spreads uh, when you come in contact with someone so a disease that generally spreads by means of germs carried in atmosphere or maybe coming in contact with someone that's uh, uh infectious disease the next one okay killing of human being i guess we've discussed it already so let's take a look at the option regicide was the killing of a king suicide is one when one kills himself okay so if somebody wants ends his own life that's what suicide is i believe it's a very common term and i'm sure you know that already homicide is killing a human being and then we have the word assassination now assassination is also killing a human being essentially but what's the difference between homicide and assassination see assassination is killing an important person so if somebody goes ahead and kills an important person then you call it assassination but if you go ahead and kill somebody who's ordinary um that is homicide a murder then rainfall at irregular intervals or occasionally now see let's just look at that kuch hai jo irregular hai ya occasional hai that's what we're talking about here so regular i believe should be ruled out sporadic hota hai something that's not regular something that's more intermittent not not exactly regular and then there is accidental accidental well something that is not planned and it happens so it's essentially an adjective um like the accidental prime minister somebody who was not supposed to be but became the prime minister then temporary is for the time being something that's not permanent so i believe we'll agree that the answer to this one should be option b sporadic so it is happening at a irregular interval or happening erratically so there is no particular pattern uh, so happening at irregular interval or occasionally is sporadic a statement that's absolutely clear now a clear statement what do you think that could mean clean well clean the surroundings can be clean the statements are uh, clear statements are not called clean statements right should be ruled out confused i guess is the contrary word so should be ruled out then there is ambiguous now ambiguous is something that is not clear something that is not clear so i think it's contradictory to the given information should be ruled out and then we left with only option d unequivocal now let's understand what is the word unequivocal mean first of all why don't we understand the meaning of equivocal now equivocal just like ambiguous means something that is not clear so equivocal is equal to ambiguous is equal to not clear now we are talking about something that is clear so 
Unequivocal is the opposite of equivocal is the opposite of ambiguity or ambiguous, which simply means something that is crystal clear. Okay. <laughs> um, 15th answer. Uh, just a second, Pratsalva. A uh, group of three books, um, films that have same subject or characters. Now, we are categorically talking about group of three books or films that have same subject or characters. The options are Trilogy, Trinity, Trio, and Tripod. Now, Tripod is that three-legged stand on which you can generally place your camera or your uh, lamp. Now, Trio simply means group of three. Okay, maybe three three people who sing and play a particular piece of music. Trinity Pridev and Triology is um, the answer because it means a group of three books or three films that have the same subject. They are more like a sequel to the previous one. So that's what it is. Now, the answer to question number 15 is option C, that is homicide. Now, um, um, I would like to inform you all about the Swayam uh, batch 2023 that we are running. Now, if you are a self-paced learner, it's it's a fantastic course for you because uh, you get a lot of uh, recorded sessions and there are mocks and there are exclusive ebooks, study material, telegram doubt supporting group and exclusive PI prep support as well. And with this, I come to the end of this session. Thanks a lot for watching. I just hope you were able to gain something. If you want something um, exclusively done, do mention that in the chat box. Stay connected. Love you. Bye-bye.